How do you think I achieved this today? Just by luck? No, I used the original and I used just about half a scoop of pomade. I posted it on my stories. I don't know if you saw that, but with just a little bit of pomade, I got some great texture. I got some good hold, but not a lot of shine. Boom, check it out. A common theme in these hairstyle history videos that we've been doing is that a lot of these subs, so celebs. A lot of these celebs love experimenting with a bunch of different hairstyles and Justin Bieber is no different. And though today he's one of the most famous musicians in the world, he actually got started out right here on this platform, YouTube, at the age of 12. Don't know how many people knew that. Probably most people. Side note, his fame exploded only one year later at the age of 13 when Usher found him and helped to make him big. So yeah, life's unfair. Anyways, when you think of Justin's signature hairstyle, you probably still think of that semi-outdated skater boy swoop that he was seen rocking for much of his early on career. Today, I wanna to take a look at all of the hairstyles that Justin Bieber has gone through over the years. Everything from give it a pass to his best. And I think it makes complete sense to start out with that signature swoopy fringe hairstyle. Even though the Justin Bieber swoop was all the rage back in the day, mostly thanks to teenage fangirls, uh, I've never really been a big fan You'll find me dead before I ever attempt the side sweat fringe. Anyways, Justin hit the music scene with this hairstyle. Going all the way back to when he started out on YouTube and a few years into his newfound fame, Justin was all about that swoopy fringe hairstyle. Now the fringe look was definitely more popular back then as opposed to now. Uh, in fact, it's quite an outdated look today and you don't see it being rocked as often. The biggest issue that I personally have with it is that it's just, it's too close to a bowl cut. Granted, it's not as bad as a bowl cut, but there is a good amount of resemblance. The reason why Justin is known as the guy with the swoopy hairstyle is because he rocked that for a, a quite a number of years from his start up until 2011 when he gave it a little, just a little, a little tweak. In 2011, Justin still went with that signature swoop look, but modernized it a bit by cutting it a little shorter and adding a bit of hair product for some texture. The thing is this hairstyle is fairly comparable to today's textured fringe looks, which are pretty popular at the moment. There's still a number of hair choices that I think looked better on Justin, but the newer textured swoop look was definitely an upgrade from the previous. That said, it's safe to say that at the the time experimenting with hairstyles and hair products was not his forte because I found a couple of these pictures where it looks like he was trying to figure out how a classic style works. I mean, let's be honest, especially especially when he was younger, uh, it was quite easy for him to fall under the that, you know the cheesy category with some of his looks. And uh, I, I don't think that this hairstyle helped much with that. The only other hairstyle that Justin has rocked that I'm not a big fan of, and yes, I have some bias towards this, is the top knot in 2015. I've said it before, I'm just not a fan of top knots. I talked more about this during Zayn Malik's hairstyle breakdown from worst to best video. So if you missed that one about Zayn, you can check it out right out here. The biggest problem here is not just the man bun, but the fact that his sides are messy, which just really doesn't work with this kind of hairstyle. If you are gonna go for the top knot, you wanna make sure that the sides are looking really clean. Otherwise, it just simply won't work. From there, we get into some interesting territory when Justin tried out the blonde dreadlocks look. In my opinion, this is the most edgy look he's gone for and is a bit of a transition from the side swept textured look which we'll be talking about in a little bit now personally I'm kind of in the middle with this look uh, I'm curious to know what you guys think about Justin's dreadlock I think it's kind of cool it takes a specific type of person to pull this off and Justin just might have what it takes to make the icy looking dreadlocks work again I want to know what you think though it's definitely different what do you think about those dreads and before we get to what I consider to be his best looks, we got to briefly mention the buzz cut the, the famous hairstyle that every male celebrity seems to try at least once. Now, Justin's hair is a little longer than typical buzz cuts, and personally, I think it looks a little messier this way, but my opinion on buzz cuts remains largely the same. I think buzz cuts can be a great, super simple option for guys who don't like messing around with styling. It works better on some guys than others. I'd say Justin can pull it off just fine, but there are some better options that he has worn uh, aside from the buzz cut. Moving on, we've got two more hairstyles that in my opinion were his best. Starting out with his other signature hairstyle, the one that he chose to rock after ditching his previous swoopy signature hairstyle, and that is the Ford Quiff. Now even though his Quiff became another iconic Justin Bieber look, he actually didn't rock it all that long. It mostly took place in 2013 and 14, which is why he still looks on the younger side in these images. I think the biggest reason for its iconic look is because of how big of a change it looked from his previous swoopy hairstyle 
style. This is the first time that he really went uh, with a drastic change from the swoop to the quiff. I think that's why it's become, you know, so memorable. After rocking the forward quiff for a couple of years, this slowly transitioned into the longer textured side swept look taking place in 2015. I think it's a cool look. It gives off some serious laid back carefree vibes, but it still looks trendy and cool as well. I think the platinum really helps to keep it fashion forward as well. And it's personally my other favorite Justin hairstyle. And that brief Justin Bieber hair history leads us to today. Taking a look at what Justin is currently rocking. I think it's safe to say that he's busy enjoying life at the moment and not too concerned about being a men's hair icon at this stage in his life. It's similar to his previous look, but this time grown out pretty much all over. His hair is much more surfer-like and honestly, I just don't really think that he cares that much about what he looks like at this point in time. He seems content, happy, doing his own thing. I don't know, that's my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know. Sign up to the email list if you want a chance to win some free Bloom On products. We give away Bloom On products on the monthly along with exclusive Bloom On content through the email list. Got that down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see everybody next time.